Directing was in Itami's blood. His father, Matsaku Itami, was a pioneering Japanese filmmaker who in the 1930s became famous for directing samurai films that commented indirectly on contemporary life. But the younger Itami became a movie maker only after decades of working primarily as an actor. And it was as an actor on the set of a TV drama in 1965 that he met Miyamoto, who by then was a working actress herself. While Miyamoto mostly stayed in their country house with their boys, Itami continued acting and started to produce TV documentaries as well as host, create, and write them. But Miyamoto never lost her love for acting and really wanted to return to the soundstage. And Itami hungered to become a feature film director. They got their first joint inspiration from their lives, and that would be their modus operandi for decades to come. When Miyamoto's father died, they struggled to stage a traditional Japanese funeral. That struggle became the basis of their first collaboration, The Funeral, which co-starred Miyamoto and Tsutomo Yamazaki as a married acting couple in Tokyo with two sons. They are so cosmopolitan and up-to-date that they need a self-help video to know how to stage a traditional Japanese death ceremony. The movie did great business and got great reviews, but it was primarily an ensemble piece. It would be the next two movies that made Miyamoto a major star. <laughs> when I interviewed Itami and Miyamoto in 1987 in San Francisco when they were promoting the American release of Tampopo, Itami told me that he wanted to salute many things he loved, including food, American Westerns, certain parts of Tokyo, and a wonderful ensemble of actors, notably his wife. She actually loved playing characters that were very distant from herself. She thought Tampopo was a real stretch, but to Itami, Tampopo was Miyamoto. Itami himself said he built Tampopo on his wife's strengths. In Japanese films, he said, the woman is usually a woman scorned who's trying to bear up through her tears. It's a very dark vision of womanhood. But this woman is much more of what I think of as American, with a sense of humor. She works hard, and that's the type I wanted to create. I wanted a more American type of personality in a Japanese movie. Hey. <laughs> Oh, 